All right, well, if you check out my shorts, you'll know it was a week ago today that I took delivery of my 2023 ZX6R KRT ABS. Uh, it's my second sport bike that I currently own. I've owned multiple other sport bikes. Um, and yeah, I mean, this thing just looks sweet. I love the look of these ZX6Rs. I finished all my mods yesterday. I, it took me just under a week to get everything done. And believe it or not, in that week, I got my ECU sent to more Mafia. You'll uh, see some more Mafia stickers up there. Um, and yeah, he got it back to me. So we got that done in a couple of days. So this thing has been ECU flashed. Um, I'll go through uh, some of the mods that I did. I'll go through pretty much all of them, I guess. But yeah, let's uh, let's start here at the front. Like I talked about, I always do my Isle of Man brake sock. I've got that on the S1000 as well. I did go with the Olin's steering damper. Some interesting reviews on this. It, you know, I've heard that these make a lot of noise. So I did grease this really well. I actually use like a garage door grease that's made for kind of metal on metal components. Um, so, and I also put a nylon washer in addition. So there's a little bit of play back and forth, but not as much. So this shouldn't rattle or vibrate, but still enough play, especially with the bike compressed, um, that it should be good to go. I did go with the Puig Z Racer windscreen. It was pretty interesting compared to like some of the double bubbles on like an S1000. They're so much taller, but this bike I'm in such, I'm in a way more aggressive stance riding this bike. I love the position on this bike compared to the S1000. I actually have aftermarket rear sets. I could probably adjust them on the BMW to be closer to this, but the stock position on the BMW is so bad. It's like, I don't know if you guys have ever used a squatty potty, but that's what it feels like. It just feels awkward. Getting back on this thing, it actually feels like other sport bikes. And granted, what I've owned in the past have been Japanese bikes. But um, I'm not the first one to say that. If you look at any reviews of the S1K, the, the seating position on it's pretty weird. So while this isn't quite as tall as the other windscreens that I've used, with the position I'm in, it's, it's still perfect. Um, it's going to deflect the wind exactly how I need. Uh, I'll sit at the front of the bike. I do have the TST. I think some of the honeycomb stuff, I don't even know what year it is on the ZX6R, but there's like a honeycomb pattern on the 600. That's really, really cool. This kind of copies that. Um, love that look. I'll turn it on at the end and I'll do uh, even an exhaust sound. Um, and I'll even give some thoughts how it compares to the S1000 towards the end of the video. But I did get the RNG Racing radiator guards as well as that header guard there. Looks great, matches the green perfect. But um, yeah, really happy with that. The turn signal install, it wasn't Insanely difficult, but it wasn't easy either. Um, I actually didn't end up removing the fairings. I just kind of reached in and did it, so not too bad. Um, it's worth it for how they look. I do always put on a uh, brake lever guard. I have like the M Power one on the S1000. This is by, I've actually used these guys for years. I did a full bike build with this stuff. I did rear sets, everything. Um, I don't know if it's Sato or Sato, but I love their stuff. Really good looking brake lever guard. Um, it just, yeah, it looks super clean. I always use their frame sliders as well. I think they're the best looking frame sliders out there. Super clean, minimalistic. Um, one of the things I actually really like on the S1000 is I can just, I can just exchange these pucks. These pucks just come off. But yeah, I think they make really good stuff. They make some cool parts for sport bikes if you haven't heard of them. Uh, so I've got that for protection. I did go with the, uh, what are these guys called? I believe it's tech spec, right? Yeah, tech spec. So the tech spec, I forget, I think this is called X-Line. And they changed X-Line. X-Line used to be a very different material. And it was like sandpaper and it was so grippy. But I think it wore your leathers. I think it wore off really quick. So they kind of went back to R&D and came up with this. This is so thin, but it's very, very grippy. Um, I actually still have, let me pull this. 
I still have, I think this is called snake skin. Um, I didn't decide to go with this. Um, I went with the X line. I'm probably going to return that. Um, again, this is like insanely thin, so I'm curious to its durability, but grips really, really well. It grips a lot better in my opinion than the snake skin. I do have the snake skin on my S1000. I think that looks awesome. I just, compared to the X line I used to have, it's not even close. This just grips way better. And then I didn't put these on here. I don't want to cover the graphic, uh, even though that'd be nice to have some grip there, but yeah. Um, let's see what else. I do have the TWM. I, I put those on all my bikes. Just really nice. Uh, it changes the fuel out. I've put that on. Um, obviously the rear cowl. This was a freaking, I swear guys, that thing was a nightmare to put on. Very poor engineering for the cost. Horrible. And a lot of guys online say the same thing. You, you might have set it up in a way where it went in and snapped in, but it just wouldn't go in. But it's worth it, right, for the look. I'll, I'll do it over again because it looks so good. But, I mean, I just tucked my registration in there, and it took me, like, freaking three minutes to put this thing back on. It's just kind of it's kind of iffy. Um, but it's, it looks great. I did go with the uh, RNG Racing Exhaust holder. Um, I think it looks sick. It's a little retro, right? It's maybe not as modern as the bike, but so lightweight. A lot of the carbon fiber ones were out of stock. I didn't want to back order one. So I think it looks good. This is a crap of it. It came with my bike. Um, I did a full butterfly delete. If you want to see how to delete the butterfly, uh, feel free to uh, check out another video. I did a full video on how to take the butterfly just complete, completely off. Cause I obviously have taken the servo off. I've got a servo buddy on there. Um, and, and yeah, this was actually kind of rubbing. So I just bent it in, but it kind of sucks. It just scratched up my rear swing arm a little bit. So I might Sharpie that. And then I've also got a mid pipe. So with the more mafia ECO, ECU flash, I did a mid pipe. I didn't do a full system, um, removed the butterfly valve i did a servo buddy and i did a canon race air filter which i have another video that you don't have to remove your tank to swap the air filter on these bikes uh let's see here again guys this bike it has like five miles on it that's why you can see i haven't even ridden it um i don't know if i can get a shot of the mountains out there let me see if i can get a yeah it's we've just got tons of snow the roads this morning um, are completely full of salt I just got my ECU back into this bike. I'm itching to go ride it. But again, I've only put a couple miles on this bike. So uh, yeah, you can see the tires. I haven't even ridden on it. Uh, let's see, let's continue back. TST, brake lights. Um, I did clear. I, I used to smoke out everything on my bike. Smoke looks so good, right? I love the way smoke looks. Anything clear is just brighter. Um, and safer so i i used to smoke my headlights and that type of stuff it would look so much better if it was smoke but when the led is on it looks the same because it's just red and it's a little bit brighter uh, i i'm not a huge fan of the tst fender eliminator um it's just a lot going on there's some that are a little bit cleaner i like it on my s1k this is a pretty clean fender eliminator just very little going on um, obviously love the brake on this much more, sorry, the brake light that it's integrated with turn signals, but yeah, the license plate holder, don't, don't really love that. Um, this is Seder Racing as well. I always put these on my bikes. I'll go to college football games or I'll go to the store. I'll go to certain places. I want to lock my helmet. I don't want to take my helmet in with me. So I always lock it here. Um, does it prevent them from stealing it? Of course not, but it's, it's a line of protection and it's super easy to just throw in. This wouldn't fit, so I threw it in upside down, so... Uh, yeah, it is what it is. Um, i trying to think. I think that's pretty much it on my bike. I know I'm going to watch this back and realize I forgot something, but, uh, yeah. Um, man, I'm so excited to get out there and ride this. As far as how it compares to the S1000, again, I've put five miles on this bike and I'm breaking it in. So I, I'm not going to waste your time with, you know, the power comparison. I'll do that later. I will say it feels shockingly lighter. It's obviously a 600, but just sitting over it, walking it back and forth. Um, I think the seat height, if I'm not mistaken, it's, it's identical or it's within, it's very minute as far as the difference. 
Uh, man, I'm excited. I've got the ECU flashed. I've got the system on here. Uh, the exhaust mid pipe, I should say, the air filter. Uh, I'm going to be doing some track days out at Utah Motorsports Campus, and I'm excited to take both of these bikes and just get the impressions on track. But so far, I just love the look of it. Super excited to get out and, uh, and ride and test it. But uh, yeah, I'll do a quick startup. I'll show you guys the turn signals. I know you've seen a bunch of these before, but again, yeah, you'll see here, yeah, I've got 10 miles on this bike, so it hasn't been ridden. But we'll do left turn signal. That's kind of like a funky pattern on the front. I think I can program that to do what I want. I know, uh, let me see if I can show you guys the brake. And then we'll do right turn signal as well. Yeah, pretty cool. Little flash. I think I can customize that a bit. And then we'll go ahead and do just a quick startup for you guys so you can hear the exhaust. Oh, you know what? I've got it in gear, so I'm going to put it in neutral real quick. Oh, and by the way, the quick shifter. Oh my gosh. It's really, really smooth. I know More Mafia, he does something with it, but even when I, I rode it for a few miles before More Mafia, really impressed by the quick shifter on this bike. I wish I had an auto blip like my S1K, but still really, really good. So on the neutral, let's start it up. That is the 2023 KRT ABS ZX6R, not in that order. Yes, I have the baffles in there. I do have the, uh, I'm sure you guys have seen this. This is my little Krapovich. Let's see if I can get that logo for you guys. Yeah, this is like an Krapovich grommet that I got so I can drill out right here. There's a little position where I'll drill out and I can remove a screw and then this baffle, you, get, you just pull it out. I don't know if I'm gonna do it or not. Um, I bought this cause you know, I want to. I'm gonna be doing some track days. I might just want this bike to be, I don't know, a little bit quieter. This is this S1K with this little microphone. This is a full titanium arrow. It's the loudest bike I've ever owned. Uh, I've had SC Project CRTs and those will freaking, I mean, I'm in my thirties and I'm going deaf from the sound of sport bikes. So. I don't hate the sound of this. I think it sounds great. It's definitely really quiet. If I'm a betting man, I'm probably gonna take the baffle out. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I may do that. At least with this, the nice thing is I could put it in and out, right? So anyway, that's the video. And yeah, it's a sick bike.